motorcycling it's supposed to set you free it's supposed to give you wings of freedom it's supposed to be pure emotions and in some cases it's supposed to be an infield But can the Super Meteor justify all these parameters? Well, if you've got bored of seeing all those video reviews from the state roads of Rajasthan and want to know and understand how this bike performs over mountain roads, twists and curves, uphills and so on, well then this video is definitely, surely made for you. What we have done is a 750km round trip from Delhi to Chal and beyond and back. This includes a 500 km highway perspective and a 250 km experience on mountain roads. Very well laid out full in tarmac to narrow state highways, from spiritual hideouts to even exploring forest trails and even touching white gold, which is snow. We have done this ride extensively to answer all the remaining unanswered questions. So if you're in the market for the Super Meteor or you're a motorcycle enthusiast, this video will surely keep you excited and happy. So the ride experience started from Delhi at a fuel pump where I filled up the tank completely. From there on, we had a fair bit of traffic coming in before we hit the bypass. But because I had the bike for a few days with me already, I was used to the bulk and I was used to the low seating posture. Now, once at the bypass, it was time to stretch the legs of the Super Meteor. We did that, but only for a few minutes. Why so? Well, we soon came across a long, never-ending traffic jam. And I did what most of us bikers do. Extreme left lane of the road overtaking every single truck and vehicle. Well, given the weight 241 kgs, given the low seating portion and the wide handlebars, it was still very much possible. So yes, if you have concerns about the Super Meteor not able to handle traffic jams, well, your question has the right answer in this video. So yes, the Super Meteor is bulky, it's heavy, but uh, in case required, you can do all this. Overtaking a traffic jam, uh, from the whatever road is left. It's possible, just get used to the bike, get used to the bulk, and there you go. Finally, after approximately 50 kilometers, we saw motoring Nirvana, open folding highways, less traffic, and this is where I finally let the Super Mitoy enjoy the cruising abilities. 110 is a very, very possible situation for us and us on the motorcycle. Above 120, the wind blast starts hitting you a lot. Of course, it will do 140 plus as well, even with a heavy rider. But the sweet spot is approximately 100 km per hour in this six gear. Vibrations are well controlled. The mirrors, they work very well. These particular mirrors on the this edition of the Super Meteor, they work very well in spite of having wide shoulders. I could see what's going on behind the bike. At the 130 mark, we finally took a much deserved break for this. Now, a big part of enjoyment on a motorcycle is about food breaks, especially breakfast breaks. And in North India, we have something called as parathas, stuffed with the potato and onions. A perfect uh, break for us guys. Now, after two hours, one thing is for sure, the pressure point around the tailbone area builds up a lot uh, in the way the seat is designed. But then again, I think most of us take a break after two hours or so for tea, coffee or uh, breakfast break. So, no issues. From here on, uh, another two hours to the base of the hills from where the scenic part of this video will start. Back on the road, it was approximately 130 kilometers more before we would kiss the base of the hills. But I wasn't complaining because this was turning out to be a super good mild muncher. Now, in spite of being approximately 40 kilos heavier than the Interceptor 650, 
This one has enough punch even at triple digit speeds to overtake fast moving traffic. The only trouble, well, the pressure on the lower part of the back and the tailbone area because of the seating position and because of this particular design of the seat. But apart from that, no issues, no complaints in terms of the cruising abilities of the Super Meteor. And then after 260 kilometers from Delhi, we hit the base of the hills at Parvanu. A superb four-lane setup, winding roads and less traffic. Perfect recipe for motorcycle nirvana, in my opinion. And then from here on, from Pravanu all the way towards Solon on the four-lane mountain roads, I was definitely surprised and impressed with the Super Meteor. Now, this one is low, it's heavy, 241 kgs, but it will stick to the line that you want it to take. Of course, bad roads and potholes is not where the bike will be enjoyable, but anything that's got smooth tarmac and inviting curves and corners, well, it has multiple personalities. It's got the cruising abilities and on mountain roads, it will give you enough grinning moments. And what about narrow hill roads? Well, at Kandaghat, we left the main highway and took a ride towards style. That's a narrow state highway. This is where I also realized the amount of torque flowing at the road revs. For example, around tight bends and corners, slowing down to even 30 kmph in the third gear was not a concern. So, 30 kmph, third gear, your curve is over, just throttle out of the curve, no issues from the engine or the chain snatching at all on the Super Meteor. And as we kept on getting closer to Chal, our destination for the night, my confidence with the bike kept on going higher and higher. This meant I was going more faster than what I had imagined on the Super Meteor, even on this narrow twisties of Himachal Pradesh. Approximately 5 p.m. is when we entered the Child Palace, our hideout for the night with this bike. Day number two kicked off with us exploring the narrow forest trails of the Child Palace Log Huts area. Yes, there is no tarmac, it's completely slightly off road and undulations, but Yes, it's got a stiff suspension, but if you want to do this for a few minutes, you will have all the confidence from the bike coming in. The brakes especially need a very big mention. I have not seen such a huge disc brake add on the rear wheel coming from any end field in the portfolio right now. And this works very well. Even a small tap on the right pedal has good braking coming in from the rear brakes. This is something you want while going downhill on the mountain roads or the road is not perfect. You want some kind of grip coming in from the rear end. This disc brake is very, very helpful. From here on, we took the narrow street highway towards Kufri. Early morning, not a soul around, only the super meteor. The wind in the hair experience, the the exhaust note, it's still soft enough, it's not very loud, but the exhaust note, the engine grunt, good views all around. Well, this is what we had come here for. But we were not done yet because as we kept on getting closer to Kofri, we went into the uh, sun shadow area. It was very freezing cold and finally we saw a bit of white magic, a bit of snow around the road. We had come here for this. 
uh, wanted to go even further on very very cold approximately 8000 feet above mean sea level but we kept on going and finally stopped at a place where we had ample snow to park the bike i admired the bike for the video and talked to you for a few minutes What a journey and a road trip it has been with the Super Meteor 650 from the smooth foreign highways of North India to the foreign twisties and then the narrow mountain roads a bit of offroading and even what Himachal is known for in winters snow all around we are approximately at 8000 feet or 2400 meters above mean sea level and i have not noticed any drop in the punch or the top delivery and fair to assume no one else has taken the Super Meteor to these heights yet From here our journey starts back towards Delhi but not before a spiritual escape coming up on your screens. From here on we went towards the Kali Tibba Mandir now this temple is basically perched on a hill top giving you a bird's eye view of the entire valley and of course the snow peaks in the backdrop i think a perfect destination to end the video and talk to you about my verdict on the super meteor 650 Just like this Kalika Tibba towers over the entire valley over here the Super Meteor can tower over the entire competition in the Indian and the international motorcycling scene. Back to my first question in the starting of the video can this bike give you the pleasure of motorcycling? Well the smile says it all. It's a big thumbs up from all of us here at 91 wheels for this deserving cruiser. Yeah. 